all of the water there will at some time in the future be running through a hose much larger than that one from way up on the hill, 260 feet higher than I am, 800 feet away. And running into a turbine right down there. So big update on this system. I know it's been a week since I said, not a week, a month since I mentioned progress on this when I got permission from the intermediate property owner for a water line. Uh, but now I have permission from the spring owner, which I was gracious enough, or he was gracious enough to give to me. So that began uh, a month ago when I called and he said he talked to his wife about it and get back to me, but he never did. So I called two weeks ago and left a message and he didn't get back to me. But I was able to figure out where he lives thanks to our courthouse records being online. Uh, along with a parcel map so I could look at which you know house he actually owns which turns out to be like pretty much our next door neighbors but I didn't know because it's it's a house that's behind a garage like an automotive garage and you don't know it's there uh, so I talked with him today and because I went over there and talked to him in person he was like yeah I'm really glad you stopped by so we could do this in person because I was kind of sketched out about talking to somebody on the phone giving them permission to do something on my property uh, and yeah so it's a go um, they do at some time want to use that water for watering their horses which is in uh, like a paddock barn area that's a little bit below the spring but further across the hill and I'll just make sure I leave provisions for him to do those connections himself. Um, preliminary calculations, I forget how many gallons per minute it does. Like 15, 30 gallons per minute? No, that's, that's high. I don't know. Um, a 100% efficiency of about 600 watts, and I estimate I could get around 300 watts continuous output from it. Um, so yeah, stick around and I'll have some really good content coming up sometime in the future. But I don't know how quickly that'll come because a lot of my time right now is spent as a stay-at-home dad. So, and winter's coming. You know, it's already the 4th of, no, 4th of, geez, I can't think of the date, November. Uh, so it's getting kind of cold. We've already had snow a few times. Well, see you around.